Hey guys, in today's Tools from the Install Bay, we have a universal test tool from PAC that every installer should have in their toolbox. So stay tuned. So what we have here is the PAC Audio TL-PTG2. They describe it as a tone generator, speaker polarity, and RCA tester. I refer to it as the must-have tool for every installer. This. Now, why? That's always the question. Why do I need to have this? Well, for one thing, it does a ton of stuff. Let's break it down into each thing it'll do. What we have here is the power on and off button. We have a speaker tester for polarity. We have the frequency for the tone generator, as well as the volume, the power on light. This is the test light. And then the continuity tester here. Now, how do you use this thing? So let's say you just took these out of your car and you need to know what is positive and negative on these two wires. Well, that's where this comes in. It has a red, and it has a black. You go ahead and connect them on like this and then you hit this button here where it says speaker test. It's gonna move the speaker either this way or this way. If it's going this way, that means it's in phase. You can look at the two wires here and connect them properly to your aftermarket speaker. Now, you can also, if you're in a car, and let's say you're hooking up a high level to low level adapter, and you have no idea what the speaker wires are, and you, you think you know, meaning like it says it's a blue, white, and an orange, green, and you found a blue, white, and an orange, green. Now what do you do? Well, you need to test them somehow. So you can do many different ways to test them, but one way is with this. You can turn it on and use the tone generator. See if it makes sound. Now this will stay on for five minutes. So there's, it has plenty, you have plenty of time to, to go and do what you need to do. So you can also use this if you're in a car, and let's say you're going to bypass the factory amplifier and you have this giant wiring harness and you're like, what, what do all these wires go to? Well, you can strip back the wire, hook this up and find out what speaker's playing. So let's say the driver, the tweeter, the other door, the other tweeter, something in the rear, something over there. You can use this to find out which speaker is playing. And then, you can go ahead and if you can see the speaker, let's say you take off a door panel and you want to know what's positive and negative, you can pop it, hitting the, the phase button, and see which direction if it moves in or if it moves out, and then write down what is positive and negative. So another helpful thing is, let's say you get in a speaker like this. This is a coaxial, has a tweeter. And you're like, I, I don't know if my tweeter's playing. It doesn't sound like it is. Well, this will generate a high frequency. that definitely only a tweeter will produce. So you can test to see if the tweeter is playing. You can also test to see if the mid-range is playing because it'll move. So anytime you can hook up to a speaker, you can use this device to figure out what it's doing, where it's at, is that the right wire, is it moving the right direction? So there's a ton of things to do with just these two gator clips. But we also have an RCA, so we can use this to test amplifiers. So problems with amplifiers or subwoofers are also really common. How come my sub doesn't work? Is my amp playing? This guy can answer a lot of those questions for you. So for example, let's say you have a subwoofer like this one here, and it's got a cool speaker cup on the side, and they're like, my sub isn't playing, it's not moving anymore. No problem. Take this guy here, Connect it up. You can see if the subwoofer plays. So once you've figured out that the sub plays, you can move on to the amplifier. So with the amplifier, just take the RCA connector, unplug whatever RCAs were in it, and plug this guy in. Now, 
obviously you can use this for highs as well as subwoofers and you could do this behind the radio or at the amplifier so the next thing to take a look at is the continuity tester this guy right here and there again you can use it for a ton of different things not just testing rcas so let's say you have an rca and you're like man i, I wonder if this is still good no problem simply take it by obviously the matching ends and plug it in if it beeps you know it's good then switch to the other ends yay but now what do you do if this rca is already ran throughout the car and you're like i need to know if this is good because i was just using that amplifier the amplifier is good because i tested it at the amp i need to test this rca so what you want to do is you can either take something like a y connector or an rca butt connector plug the two ends together behind the radio and then or back at the amplifier either way it doesn't matter just butt connect two of the ends together and then plug them in if it beeps you know the rca is good so if you'd like to further expand on the abilities for continuity take yourself an rca and whack the ends off of it twist the two shields together okay and then solder some wires onto the two active or the two center pin ends wires here so what you end up with is something like this here where we have we actually added some gators now when we plug it in we have a continuity tester so we can use this to let's say a speaker isn't functioning we can just hook it up we can see the voice coil is still connected you know in case it has an open coil let's say you've had a speaker put in the door and the radio's over here and the two aren't functioning and you're like well what the heck go ahead and unplug the speaker and then you can use this as a continuity tester between the speaker wire and let's say the radio and see if you have continuity between the wire and the dash and the wire in the door there's two wires you test both wires if you don't if one makes noise and the other doesn't then you know you have a break in the wire somewhere and of course you can do that to test any run it doesn't necessarily have to be a speaker wire it could also be your remote turn on let's say your amp isn't turning on and you want to test your remote turn on between the front and the back well now you have a continuity tester you can test any wire so there you go there's a test tool everyone should have that wants to do car audio this should be in all your guys's toolboxes um, and it's reasonably priced too. You can pick one of these things up for 30 bucks. That's a great value for all the stuff that it does. I sound like I'm trying to sell these. I'm not. Uh, if you do want one though, we will have a link in the description so you can pick one up. That's the end of the show, guys. You know where to find us, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And speaking of Facebook, Monday nights we have the live show at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. So check that in. You can ask questions live while we're there. Otherwise, ask questions in the comments below. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.